We're now going to look at using factorising to simplify algebraic fractions. If you were asked to simplify 6x plus 3 over 3, I hope that you wouldn't be tempted to just cancel the 3 and the 3, because based on what we did in the last video, you would have looked and said, oh, we've got a plus, and so we can't just cancel. We could do, which you did a bit of in grade 8, use the distributive law and say 3 divided into 6x goes 2x, and 3 divided into 3 goes once, and so you'd be left with 2x plus 1. But what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be using factorization to help us simplify algebraic fractions. So let me show you how we do it in this case. Take a look at 6x plus 3. Is it possible to factorize that? Well, yes, this has got the simplest form of factorization, simply taking out a common factor of 3. And then we'd be left with 2x plus 1 over 3. Now we have multiplication, right? We have got 3 multiplied by this whole thing here over 3. So now we can cancel and we'll just be left with 2x plus 1. If we were asked to simplify this, we can go ahead and factorize. So from the top, we see we can take out a 5. There's an x cubed and an x squared, so we can take out the x squared. And we'd be left back with x plus 2, and at the bottom, negative 5x. Now we've got multiplication, 5x squared multiplied by this bracket, so we can cancel. And we can cancel the 5 with the 5. And the x cancels with one of these x's in the x squared. So we will be left with x, x plus 2. But it is over a negative. And so when we divide by a negative, it'll just be negative. If I'm asked to simplify x squared plus 4x plus 4 over x squared minus 4, Quick question, can I just go cancel the 4 with the 4? I hope you immediately went, no, no, no. You cannot cancel if you've got stuff that is added together or you've got stuff that's subtracted. You have to have things multiplied together. So what do we do in order to get things multiplied together? We factorize. So at the top, we're going to have an x and an x. And we need to find two things that multiply together to give us 4 and add up together to give us 4. And that's obviously a plus 2 and a plus 2. x squared minus 4 I recognize immediately as a difference of 2 squares. So I know what that factorizes into. Now I've got this multiplied with this and this multiplied with this. So I can cancel. So I can cancel the x plus 2 with the x plus 2. And I'll be left with x plus 2 over x minus 2. And I'm not going to be tempted to try and cancel the 2s with each other or the x's with each other because I've got a plus and I've got a minus, so I cannot cancel. 